G'day gang, it's Uti again. I'm here today to take a bit of a deep dive into how we can set up voice attack for retrieval of assets uh, that we store locally on our hard drives. Today I'm going to use Brother Hannon's asset pack. Uh, it's the Living Dungeon Essential Core Essential set. I'll post the link in the chat below. But for now, let's just get into how this is set up to work. So I have a retrieval statement for the various slabs that are in the asset pack that um, is provided and we'll work on retrieving them and see what we can build as we go so here we go retrieve living dungeon four way retrieve living dungeon straight retrieve living dungeon corner Retrieve Living Dungeon Miscellaneous. Retrieve Living Dungeon Corner. Retrieve Living Dungeon Dead End. Okay. So, that gives us a bit of an idea of how fast we can actually use these asset packs compared to having to go over and copy and paste each individual slab that we wanted to place down in this position. So let's take a look at how we do that. Okay, so first off, we're gonna take a look at the store command. I have a store command up here under my Tilespire, uh, sorry, under the Tilespire profile within voice attack called, I'll just mute this, sleep. Thank you. Otherwise, I'll end up starting to execute these commands. It's called store copy one. And what this is set up to do is it will write or and, and set to overwrite anything in the clipboard with whatever's already in my clip. So set, set to overwrite whatever's in my clipboard into the copy one file, txt file that I've stored locally on my hard drive. Okay, so um, that's under C colon slash TS storage clip. I've set that file up myself. And we execute that using the command write text to file. Now that command can be found under other, and it can be found, I believe, under advanced, and write text to file, that's it. I'm not, I'm not super familiar with it, all these options, so it's a lot to choose from here. Write text to file, and then you would select in that file, you would go down to your bottom here for your output, and you would select where you would Want that file to be like, where that, where that file is that you um want it to create. In this case, it's copy one, and that's under the root of my TS storage file. The next command that we need to do, oh, sorry, I need to go to this window. For that. The next command we need to do is set a retrieval function for that. So then I have a command I call retrieval copy one, which will then it's set to Set my uh, create a uh, variable um, and copy the contents of the copy1.txt file into that variable field. So that's done using the uh, set text val set a text value command. In here, I give the text value a name. Um, in my example, I've given it my text value one, um, but you could give it anything you like. Call it um, hello one. Okay. And then we're going to select value from a file, which is what we want to be what we want to be retrieving it from a file. And over here, we're going to take it to our TS storage clipboard and select copy one. Okay. 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 Now, effectively, that is the creation of that command. It will now take it from that file, and it will store it as that variable called hello one. The next step is we need to execute the Windows, uh, sorry, set Windows clipboard, we need to get the variable to write its contents to the clipboard. Now, the way we do that is that we actually, bear with me, there we go. It's under the Windows command called set a text value to the Windows clipboard. Under this, we use the syntax that's provided here, which is, will be, <coughs> excuse me, which will be the squiggly brackets. And in the instant, in the example that we put together there, it would be um, 
hello one as the variable we just say in squiggly brackets. And, and this will copy, oh, sorry, no, I stand correct. It's squiggly brackets, capital T, X, T, colon, hello one. And this will copy the contents of the clipboard or the, the, the variable, right, as text to the clipboard. The next command that we want to be executing then is, of course, a straight key press command of Control V. And this will allow the Talespire to paste the uh, output to screen straight away. Okay. The next other steps that I do have here is I'd like to categorize them. So when I do have the screens open, I know what I can close off and what I need to keep open. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So. Let's take a look at how long it takes me to generate a new asset taken from Talespire into a long-term retrieval file stored somewhere on my local drive. So, okay, so now that we've established that we can set up a library and retrieve from that library, let's take a look at how fast we can actually put something into the library. So I've just built this structure here. I'm going to select it. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to execute the store. Store copy one. Now I'm going to retrieve it to confirm it's there. Retrieve copy one. Retrieve copy one. The latency that we're experiencing here at the moment isn't anything to do with the program, it's actually quite quick. It seems to be when I record, it does have a bit of problems because it's writing to hard drives. So down the bottom here, we have a folder that we now know is the copy one file, sleep. Uh, now that we've got the copy one file, uh, I've got a tutorial folder. So I'm just gonna drag that into the tutorial folder, which will move that over to this folder. And in this folder here, I can effectively rename uh, this to whatever I want it to be. So let's say, let's just call it um, Tavern Test. Okay. Um, now that the file's created, I can come up here to my work area. And let's say that I actually wanted to add that in to one of the existing ones that I've got. Oh, sorry, add that into uh, the Castle Ravenloft section, for instance. Um, I generally duplicate one I've already got there which we've already gone over this establishment uh, of this code. Uh, I keep the retrieve word there and I'm just going to put in there tavern test as the retrieval command. I go down to my first entry here, which is where is the file? I'm going to go edit. I'm going to go down to the bottom value file URL. And in there, I'm going to go back to my tutorial folder and select tavern test as the file. Hit OK. OK on that one. And none of the other values need to change because the variables are standard variable that I've used across all of them because I don't want to, I don't need that variable to um, remain as a constant. That's nature of variable. I can, I, once I'm done with it, I don't need it anymore. It's in the clipboard. It's done its job. And so I can OK on that one there. Now, in order for this to work, I need to apply this to the profile. So I need to come down to the bottom area here and click apply. Whenever we do that, it will um, update the profile and start applying any changes we've made to the commands. If we haven't done that step, it will not apply those changes anymore. Okay, so we're going to quickly clear the palette I've got here for my, that's in my clipboard right now. And we're right now to attempt to retrieve. Tab test. Okay, so wake up, wake up, retrieve tavern test, and there we go. It's that simple and quick to make. Um, so we rename a text file, we come back over here to our um, profile, we copy an existing entry, we redirect it to a new file name, the new one that we've just created, and we apply that and it's all set. Now, naturally, what happened to the copy one file? Well, we can actually recreate the copy one file as part of this program process. It will recreate the file. So I've got that in my clipboard now. 
store copy one. And we can see that the copy one file has just been created now back down in the bottom library. So we don't need to worry about overriding existing files. I can get rid of all of those as I process new assets that I want to keep into the library. So it is that simple. I hope this has been informative. Uh, you can always catch me up on Twitch or hit me up on the Tailspire Discord. Uh, if you've got any questions about this, I'll um, yeah happily answer them. Thanks for your time.